Hello guys, what's going on? It is so far. So I got this new ice cream from Lidl, pretzel chocolate, which is basically a fake of R.I.P. Ben and Jerry's pretzel paluzza, and I had the luck to still got kept a pint of this in my freezer. It's almost ran out that expire date, but now it's time. Time to check them both and make that comparison. It's going to be exciting, so let's begin. get really started with that taste test let's check out the description and see what is this ice cream about so the original one which is unfortunately RIP flavor of Ben Jerry's pretzel palooza was a vanilla melt ice cream with a chocolatey hazelnut swirl chocolatey covered pretzel chunks chocolatey chunks and a spoonable topping so it's written it's a vanilla melt ice cream with chocolate hazelnut sauce 11 percent with coca fat glazed covered pretzel pieces seven percent coca fat glazed pieces two percent and chocolate sauce topping nine percent looks similar here vanilla ice cream with malt taste with 11% of chocolate hazelnut sauce, 7% salt pretzel pieces covered with chocolate, nougat cream, and 2% of chocolate pieces. So from that pieces amount, it's identical. So it's definitely a fake of Ben & Jerry's flavor. And, uh, First, you don't really see that it's also topped, but it is. That subline chocolated means that it is topped with chocolate here. And let's get into details of macros and weight. Benjamin has a volume of pint, which is 470 milliliters. Here in this European version, it's 500 milliliters. It's rounded up. But interesting is with the grams, if by Benjamin's we had here 421 grams because of pretty dense consistency, this one looks more airy with only 375 grams for the same volume amount, pretty same. And that macros, look here for 100 grams we have 315 calories, here's 305. 19 grams of fat against 20 grams, 32 grams of carbs, and by Lidl 26.7. And proteins, here are also more by Benders 4.4, and here 3.5. And it is less salty than Benders. As I know, that Pretzel Palooza is not too salty, and here we have even less salt, which I find is good. Then let's check that ingredients. By Benedrys it was cream 22%, water, sugar, condensed skimmed milk, plant oils, other oils, and uh, that malt extract, hazelnut paste, white flour, glucose syrup, eye yolk, skimmed milk powder, fat reduced coca, 1.2% coca, whole milk powder, salt. Wow, it's a long list because of a lot of chunks so I don't want to read it all but if you look from the beginning it's pretty similar so you can press pause and go into details I don't want to wait more long and make this video even longer because it is two ice creams today in a one time so let's begin with that unsealing and getting in under the lid and here we go. I sliced it in twice for you so that you can really get an image of what this ice cream is about. And these are two other halves. 
of them so let's first check that weight and i put that house back in the fridge because i'm not gonna eat two pints for one time so here is an empty pint of pretzel paluza and here are two pieces of it it's 420 grams it's exactly what is written and this is the weight of chocolate pretzel which is also as it should be i would bring back that two slices in the fridge and we begin with that test so shall we begin let's begin here is the original ben and jerry's pretzel paluza topped i already forgot to be honest how it tastes so let's do it again and dive in that memories first the ice cream basis which is vanilla malt ice cream. And there you see plenty of pretzels covered in chocolate. Also overall that chocolate swirl. By the way, this bind has an expired date, October 2019. So basically less days to that expired date. It's a yummy ice cream, I already forgot it. Here you see the chocolate sauce, pretzel pieces, which are not that crunchy as the uh, pretzels by themselves because of that ice cream moisture so maybe that's why Bangers brought the flavor out of the sortiment I don't know what is a reason but the ice cream is pretty good really sweet I'm sure that is not the worst flavor out of that that are now available so let's try the topping we should have a hazelnut nougat flavor Oh man, that was a lot of topping, to be honest. Yeah, pretzels, unfortunately, are too soft. They don't crunch, but altogether, it's a yummy flavor. Now, let's check the little one. Let's try that basis first and it's already completely different and it has some crunch in there I guess that are that crispies I didn't see the crispies in the description but I can feel them and it really makes fun and the ice cream basis is really delicious guys wow do you hear that crunch? it's really good it's really awesome flavor Oh my god, I'm kidding you not, it's a very good ice cream. Unfortunately, I see the sauce at the bottom. Let's try to get this sauce by itself. It's chocolatey, it's not hazelnutty, but that ice cream basis and that crispies are awesome. It's more airy, but I like the consistency. I like it's not too dense. Maybe because it's melting faster, I don't know. Pretzel pieces are really small and until now I found really not much of them. But there are some in there and they are really crunchy. So also pretzel pieces are crunchy. And here is little ice cream gets one more score point from me. And now let's try out the topping. I'm excited if it tastes hazelnutty. It's definitely not that much of them as by Ben Jerry's, but let's see how it tastes. Wow, it's malty. It's really su surprising flavor. This ice cream is awesome. There are some kind of flavors which are completely new for me or that are executed really interesting. Not like everyday flavors that you can get from chocolate and pretzels and vanilla. It's all pretty well made. Wow, definitely sum up to that ice cream. Guys, try it. It can be a limited edition. So try to get it before it is sold out. Write down in the comments below if you tried it. How do you find how good it is? 
Did you like it or not? I really can't stop so good at this. Now one more time to Ben Jerry's, where it's already more soft and more melted. It's pretty more dense. So you can enjoy it longer. I will put my scores for the Bose ice cream in the end of this video, but I also have to keep in mind that this ice cream almost reached its expired date and the one from the little is fresh new but still i gonna be honest and put my scores at the end of this video so watch till the end guys and thumb up if you like it yeah i wish that ice cream from Banjaris would have more crunchy pretzels that is definitely a minus topping is not too big as well and you know about topping the one from the Banjaris tastes really like a nougat like nutella and this one from lidl it has more that malt taste completely different and you have to try it it's like nothing else that is a um, strong bottle it's really rarely when fake ice cream is so good and can and can fuck with the original one and that was at low price in compared to Benjers. Two euro fifty against I don't know six, seven. How much that pretzel paluta topped costed that time? I don't know anymore. All right, guys. This is it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful. And you know, if this ice cream is worth your calories and your time thumb up subscribe and hit that notification bell to not miss whenever my next upload happens i wish you a good day good time and goodbye